Good morning guys, welcome back to another busy day of eating with me. I wanna show you every single thing I eat today, start solution style, low calorie density. I've eaten this way to lose 60 pounds over the last few years and I still eat this way now to maintain my weight loss. I also get to eat massive portions of delicious food every single day. So I am a volume eater and if you are as well and you wanna find a way to get and stay lean while still eating massive portions of food, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I've got a bit of an exciting morning this morning. I'm gonna head over to my mum's. I've just dropped the kids off at school. And for those of you who don't know, I'm in the middle of writing a vegan Indian weight loss cookbook, which I'm very excited about. My mum has got a ton of cookbooks. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna figure out and try and get like a format and a layout um, for my Indian cookbooks. So then I can go away and actually start writing it. Cause you guys know I've finished the recipe part. Now I need to do the writing part. So um, anyway, I'm, so I'm super excited about that. But whilst I go over there, my mum has got a Ninja Creamy. You guys know that. I haven't had, you guys know I borrowed it a few weeks ago and it was incredible. I had ice cream every single day and it was amazing. Um, but I'm gonna go over there. She made some banana chocolate ice cream for us last night. So we're gonna have an ice cream party. And also I didn't get up this morning and go for my, um, <clears throat> do my workout as usual because I got in really late last night and I was absolutely knackered. Even though I had Abe breathing in my ear from like 5.30 going, <sighs> So I couldn't really sleep anyway, I just wanted to be in bed. Um, but I'm gonna go over to my mum's and we're gonna do a lovely run together, which is gonna be so nice, because that is a rarity. And it's always fun working out with somebody as well. Um, so if you have the opportunity to move your body with a friend or with a family member, that is brilliant. Anyway, so I'm gonna head over there right now. Um, I haven't had anything to eat, I'm gonna have some ice cream and then we'll figure out the rest at some point. This morning I've woken up and I've got so many food ideas in my mind but I'm not gonna have the time to actually do a lot of making because as soon as I come back I have to go and pick up the kids from school. But I've got so many things. Firstly I bought pineapple yesterday and I really wanted to make some pineapple pancakes. Then I was thinking what about a pineapple upside down cake? That would be amazing. Um, then I was also seeing some recipes with like um, that is like sweet potato butter and I was like I want to make some sweet potato butter. I've got all of these recipes in my head and a lot of time to use them. I also have, I don't know if you guys have seen, I've got a few ba big bags here. These are some things from my mum's house, um, which she gave us because she's raw now. And so I've got like a massive bag of barley and just loads of, I don't even actually know what's in there to be honest. And I was thinking it'd be a really good challenge to see how I can get creative and use up that barley and use up all of the other stuff in there. Um, so that'd be really fun. And I also really want to make some more soups. Somebody mentioned congee in one of the comments in the last video. And I was like, yes, congee would be amazing. I haven't had that in ages. So I'm feeling super, I just want to be in the kitchen all day making stuff and sharing it with you guys but it's not that day but I'm still gonna show you some good food but it's not that day I'll get there eventually guys so I've just got to my mum's and I was listening to Busted like a crazy person singing so loud on the way here loving absolutely loving every moment and I was thinking about something I'm on a mission at the moment to try not to make life so serious and to try and just have more fun and feel a bit freer life can really just bog you down sometimes like I was saying the other day there's so much to do and sometimes we can really just get inside our own heads and it's sometimes the pressure we put on ourselves to be perfect in everything that we are trying to do even though we're only human beings especially I think as women you know when you have sometimes a lot more responsibility not everyone obviously I may be speaking specifically for my situation in terms of kids and all that kind of stuff so you don't have extra time and freedom in other areas like to you know to focus on work and all those kinds of things again I'm talking personally but let me know if you if any of this resonates with you guys but I just sometimes feel like we try and strive for more than we're actually capable of and also like why why are we striving to try and do stuff that's outside of our capabilities and we get you know I get so stressed about the fact that I can't do more when I should be okay with the fact that look this is what my life is at the moment I am trying my best and also I want to have fun with my life I don't want to be stressed about it now obviously what I do I absolutely love what, what I do and I just want to do more of it all the time um and and you know explore loads of different avenues that are you know stones unturned and stuff and I will get there eventually but sometimes I get a bit stressed about that but yeah I'm trying to kind of free myself from that and just to try and live in the moment and just enjoy every single bit of my day and try not to get stressed in general um you know life you know you know sometimes you've got to think about why are we on this planet we're not on this planet to try and cram in as much stuff as humanly possible and success what does that even mean anyway that's an irrelevant term that we've kind of just made for ourselves 
the point of being on earth is to just enjoy it because that's all that there is so you know i didn't know if you guys needed to hear that today whether you're feeling stressed out or whether you feel like life is overwhelming but sometimes the things that we feel are so important actually are, are not important they're only important in our minds but if we are able to let go of that we realize how beautiful life can be anyway i know that's a long ramble about something that's completely not food related and i apologize about that but yeah anyway i'm going through these thought processes and i didn't know whether that you guys would be as well so i thought it'd just be worth sharing um free yourself from all of that stress and just try and focus on what is actually important you know eating really good stuff, moving your body, loving your family, having a great time, putting music on and dancing around and singing and having fun. That is what life is all about to me anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm here. Let's go and um, make some Ninja Creamy. I'm so excited. Also, 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 I just found a secondhand Ninja Creamy on Facebook Marketplace for like 180 quid and I'm very tempted to get it. Let me know what you guys think. My mum has got me a special treat of grapes and some figs, which I might have a quick snack on before we go for a run. Yes, we're just getting the doggies ready for a little run. I'm mean, running with these two little rascals, and uh, it's always more interesting when you run with puppies because you do a lot of stopping. But um, yeah, let's. Uh... Oh, yes, that's what it's all about. Mm. My mum's quickly showing me some stuff that she's been making in her dehydrator. You guys know that she's raw. And so she's showing me a few little things. What is this? Beetroot uh, burgers. Mixed burgers. They're not really beetroots. Oh. Just got a bit of beetroot. Can I have a taste? Mm -hmm. They're nice and warmed, actually. Mmm. Oh, it's very flavorful. Oh, it's meaty. Mmm. Oh, it's super meaty. Oh, that's raw bread. Oh, wow. What kind of bread? Got, um, it's just like savory bread. It's got. What's it made of? Um, I'm trying to think what that's the Courgette? Um, no. Um, buckwheat. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, oh, that is yummy. Oh, it's too And some little crackers. Mm. So creative. Oh, flapjacks. Flapjacks? Oh, no. I want to eat that. Apple, cinnamon, buckwheat, flapjack. Oh, my God. That would have been amazing. But it's got a mm. Just want to share this is the gorgeous view. From the run near my mum's house. It is so green and foresty. It's a gorgeous day. We're on the final bit of our run. My mum's got some crazy stairs all the way up to our house. And it's like such a good challenge to see if you can get to the top. And I always try and push myself more than I think is possible. Yes, we're near there. Yes. Ah. Even whilst dragging a small pup. We are treating ourselves with a little ice cream. I think we should go for a light ice cream. Double light, double light. So we are having chocolate banana ice cream. Oh my God, would you look at that? We've just done a double churn on the light ice cream. We're having it with some banana. And if that was not banana -y enough, we've also made <laughs> a chocolate banana drizzle to go on the top, which is, if we can get it open. Oh my gosh, let's have a look. Oh my goodness. So this is cocoa powder, okay, cacao powder, bananas, and a, secret ingredient. and a secret ingredient, which is a little bit of miso. Oh my gosh, that looks absolutely incredible. Oh. Yeah. The sauce is so, so good. It's so silly, isn't it? Oh just my like God. It's just banana and cocoa. Shit. It it's like is. Shit on the shit on the shit. <laughs> it's banana with banana with banana, but it tastes amazing. Oh. It just, it's a feel, isn't it? Oh. It just gives you the saucy feel. It does. Oh, wow. Mm. And it feels so warm. Oh, yeah, compared to the ice cream. And mm. the miso. Mm. Oh, my God. Wow. You've got to try this miso chocolate sauce, people. Mm, very good. Yay. Mm. <laughs> so, we are. I'm back to my mum's, and obviously, I've got Rom's. Um, I need to have some lunch because I'm taking Romy out to forest school before we go and pick up Abe from school and we need to leave in like half an hour. And as you guys know, I've had banana ice cream this morning with loads of extra banana -y things. I did also share some watermelon with my mum, which I forgot to show you. I had like a quarter of a watermelon. Um, so I've just went hunting in the fridge to see what I can throw together really quickly. I've still got some cauliflower that I took out um, yesterday. It was frozen cauliflower and it wouldn't fit in the freezer. So I need to do something with this and I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Indian 
um, pakora, cauliflower pakora. Sorry if you guys have seen this recipe before, but if you haven't, I'm gonna show you real quick. So first we're gonna put some spices on. So we're gonna go in with Me. a ton of cumin. You Me. want to help mommy. Yeah. You know what, Romy, you can help mama. I've got a little chef in the making. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, hold on, let, 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 it, let it relax a bit. Okay, we've got garam masala. We wanna load this with loads of flavor. I'm going in with chat masala and some black salt as well because honestly that's like the combination I can't get enough of at the moment. Once you start in down, going down these flavour routes, you'll be addicted, I promise. So loads of black salt on there. Sprinkle. And then we are gonna need to mix it. You're absolutely right, Mommy. Okay, so super simple. You wanna do a mix? So we've done a full outline for the Indian cookbook, which is very exciting. I feel like you guys are on this Indian cookbook journey with me, which is quite fun. Um, but in the process, I then found a ton of extra recipes that I feel like I have to include. I wanted to have a soup section uh, for fantastic preloading, so I thought that would be really fun. I saw a, potato, uh, a dessert made out of potatoes. And I was like, I've got to have that in the book. That would be criminal not to. So there are a few extra recipes we've got to have. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more making, so I hope you guys are not sick of seeing Indian recipes yet because I've got some more coming for you. We're going to add some chickpea flour into the mix and I always like to put it through a sieve so that it doesn't go all clumpy because the worst thing in the world is clumps of chickpea flour. So I'm probably going to do like this amount of, of cauliflower, like mm, half a cup of chickpea flour. You crush it, crush it, crush it, crush it and then we... Okay, then just mix the chickpea flour into the cauliflower. Yeah, you can do some mix. Here, let me do a mix. So see how that's a nice sticky mess now. That's exactly what we want. Can you pop it in? Good girl. Romy's really wanting to get so involved in the kitchen stuff at the moment, which is very cute. Now, Rom's going to put in this one now, sweet pea. Okay, there we go, into the air fryer for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna give it a mix halfway through as well. Okay, for the starchy part, I have got some leftovers. I'm sorry if that's boring, but it's actually so important to understand how invaluable leftovers can be for putting really quick and simple meals together. Would you like to share mommy's wrap? Yeah. So I've got some leftover wraps from yesterday and I've got some leftover burgers. If you're in the kitchen making dinner, always make extra because then you can just eat it for lunch the next day. So then I've also got um, extra veggies that I'm wanting to add onto this. I've got some lettuce, some tomato, some cucumber, and of course some pickles just like yesterday. So I'm just gonna spend a lot of time chopping these up. So I've got some leftover cucumber raita from yesterday. I'm just gonna revitalize it by adding a bit more um, yogurt and maybe like a few more spices and stuff. Before I dive into this food, I know I haven't had a drink of water for a while, for a while and sometimes we can confuse yeah. our thirst for hunger. So I'm gonna make sure, yeah. you're gonna have loads. All right, my love. So I'm gonna make sure I have a nice big drink of water so that that doesn't happen and I can honor my hunger for this cues properly. You guys know we're going um, with some raita first. Going in with my leafies, tomato, cucumber. I love how vibrant this is looking. We really do eat with our eyes. Um, and so if you want to get excited about your food, make it look exciting. You know, do the rainbow on your plate. Okay, then we've got a couple of these leftover burgers from yesterday, which were very, very tasty. They're like super, super meaty. Put that in there. Okay, cauliflower is done. I don't know if you can see and appreciate the crispy goodness that is this cauliflower and the flavor is jam-packed. I wish I could share with this with you guys. It's very hot the days. Oh, there we go. A lovely, simple meal made of leftovers. Did not take long to put together, like 10 minutes, if that. I'm well aware that sometimes I give you guys like full on like a ton of new recipes and it's all about like me making food in the kitchen. And then, yeah, and then on the other hand, some days it's just like realistic me getting stuff, stuff done. Um, and I'm sorry about that. There's not really like consistency to it and it's kind of all over the place. I hope you guys don't mind. Let me know if you do, but I'm just, that's just real life. And I'm just trying to share with you loads of different angles and, and also really fun recipes because that's the stuff that gets me excited. But yeah, some days are just realistic days where I just eat leftovers so yeah mm. very messy but very very yummy anyway i'm gonna eat this real quick and then we gotta go we are back from forest school i have lots of things on the go so first and foremost i was having a look at my meal plan which is um i'm so glad i do a meal plan 
because it's just so helpful. I can go and have a look at my options. I kind of have it as a fluid meal plan. I don't have to stick to it. So I actually realized I don't have the right salad for Abe to have Nems tonight, which is like a fresh kind of spring roll because the salad I got, he does not like. So anyway, we're not gonna have that. And I was having a look at this. The other easiest thing to do is a stir fry. Now we could do a quinoa stir fry, but Abe fancies a noodle stir fry. So we're gonna go for noodles. So I'm gonna cook up some rice noodles here. I'm gonna whack that in and I'm just gonna do like a regular stir fry for the babies. But for myself, what I thought I would do is, I thought I would do a Chinese leaf cabbage kind of um, noodle salad kind of situation. So I thought that could be quite a fun thing. Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't really made one of these before, so I'm just going to figure it out as I go. I'm thinking like a kind of peanutty miso-y kind of dressing with a bit of maybe gochujang in there to give it like a little spicy element and maybe like some crispy tofu or I could actually put my leftover cauliflower bits in there. But yeah, anyway, we'll kind of see how that goes. But the other thing I really wanted to try, skis. There you go. The baby's just having some leftover um, berry ice cream from the other day. But the other thing I really want to try is I was thinking about making some muffins. And I was thinking, how about red lentil muffins? Sounds like it could be really interesting. I just had a little look on Google because I had the inspiration and I couldn't really find anything that worked. Like everything's kind of not vegan, it has eggs in it and stuff. So and if people use lentils, they kind of cook the lentils, but I was thinking more of a soaked lentil kind of situation. Anyway, I thought I might give it a go. So I'm gonna soak maybe two cups. Oh no. So I'm just gonna soak these red lentils in boiling water to try and really um, get them going. I would probably soak them for like four hours in regular water, but I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna do like 10 minutes boiling water and that should probably do the trick. The reason I was inspired to make muffins is I have, I have a plethora of spotty bananas that really need using. And I thought, you've got to make muffins if you have that. So I'm going to go in with three nice ripe bananas. I think it's really fun to experiment with using different grains and different pulses and all that kind of stuff. Um, just because sometimes... You get something that really works and it's nice to get loads of extra nutrients in and you know often i find that i rely on oats quite a lot but it's nice to get variety in okay baking powder of course i'm going to go with like two teaspoons actually there we go Me. some vanilla obviously Me. you'd like to help mommy yes you can Me vanilla we've got yeah. gonna go in with some apple cider vinegar like two teaspoons worth i think I don't have any flax on me, so I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of chia seeds. There we go. Actually, maybe we'll go three tablespoons. Oh no, do you need mommy to, oh no. oh no. And for sweetness, obviously, we're gonna go in with a few little dates here. And I'm gonna go in with like, let's say, six little medjules. got a cup of soya milk in here. I might need to add more, I'm not quite sure yet. And then these babies have been soaking for probably about 10 minutes now. So I'm just gonna drain these and then whack them in. Okay, so I've got my two cups of red lentils going in. I have no idea what to expect, guys. I'm actually a little bit apprehensive about this. Uh, I feel like this is a risky move, a risky muffin, if you will. But I'm going in wholeheartedly. Then we blend. Wish me luck. So this is our mix. Now I don't know whether we should be eating raw lentils, but that's pretty tasty. Yes, sure. Yes. Yeah. Okie dokie, I've got all of the muffins here. Let's stick them in, into the oven and wish for the best. I'm also gonna put one of them in the air fryer as well to see how that goes. I had a little bit of leftover mix, so I put it in here. And remember I was telling you guys about my upside down pineapple cake idea. Well, basically I forgot to do it upside down, but I thought I'd do a pineapple cake. So I'm gonna slice some pineapple, pop it on the top and see what the heck happens. I don't know what I am creating at the moment, guys. I don't know. Is it a good pineapple? Yes, it is. And then I'm just gonna lay it on top of my cake. This is the air fryer muffin. I love how fluffy it's gotten, but I'm very curious to see what it's like on the inside. So let's see, it looks pretty good. I don't know whether it's actually fully cooked. Oh, 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 
Oh, it's fluffy. It's fluffy. Oh, wow. This is quite exciting. Hold on, it's really hot, my love. Can I see it fluffy? Can I see the fluffy nest? Can I see the fluffy nest? <gasps> I'm gonna have some. Ah, ah, Ash, ah, let me cool ah, it down. Ah, ah. That is legit mm. a fluffy muffin right there. I want some. Wow. Guys, guys, guys. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so good. You guys have to try red lentil muffin. I'm blown away. Yes. We're moving on to our salad portion of the evening. I have got loads of Chinese leaf cabbage chopped up here. And so I'm gonna go for some grated carrot, some cucumber. Uh, what else am I gonna go for? Oh yes, loads and loads of coriander. I'm gonna defrost some edamame and I'm gonna put it together. So I'll show you in a sec. Okay, these are the little red lentil muffins. And I am so excited about this one. Look at my pineapple cake. Oh my God. It smells divine. I think I'm gonna have it for breakfast tomorrow. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is gonna be, I might have to have it a little bit for pudding later because it just looks too good. It looks too good. Anyway, these I think were a massive, massive success. Abe and Rami can't get enough of them, so yay. I have got gigantic salad going on. I have got my Chinese leaf, loads of coriander, carrot, cucumber, and some edamame. Obviously, we're gonna have rice noodles in there as well. Now I'm just gonna make two separate dressings for me and James. This is how I kind of cater to different palettes. James is gonna have regular peanut butter. I'm gonna have PB2, so let's do it. So for mine, I'm gonna go in with like a couple of heaped tablespoons there. Some rice vinegar. A splash of maple. A little bit of sriracha. Give it a spicy kick. I'm not a massive spicy person. But I'll do a little bit just to see how we go. Some soy sauce. And then we're gonna do some freshly grated garlic and ginger in there as well. I'm just gonna put half of that in here. Okay, there we go. Peanut butter sauce. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna whack a nice little handful of noodles in the middle there. I've already eaten a couple of muffins, so I don't feel like I need a ton of noodles, to be honest. And then we do a lovely little drizzle. And there we go. Dinner is served nice and light and fresh, super high volume, low calorie density. Got my starches, got my protein, got a lovely sauce. It's gonna taste absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. For your reference, the babies are having a noodle stir fry and they're thoroughly enjoying it, which is always nice. Oh, look at this. Look at the volume we've got going on here, guys. Mm. Mm. I just wanted to show what I've given my babies. They've got muffins. What have you got on top of your muffin, Abe? Peanut butter. Peanut. I've done them. Done them a peanut, peanut butter, butter mixed with maple syrup. Yep, it's kind of like a frosting, and Romy's thoroughly enjoying it, and so is Abe. I feel like I need to get involved with my pineapple cake after dinner, so let's go and tuck into it. So, in all honesty, I'm not actually super starving. I'm kind of nicely full, but I. The pro this is the problem with your environment when you make something like this you've got to eat it am i right so anyway i'm okay with sometimes going a little bit over my hunger forms cues just because i got i gotta eat this guys you would too if you were here <gasps> oh 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 my gosh can you guys appreciate that for a second it's made of red lentils you know It's very, very nice. When people say this way of eating is boring, they don't know what whole foods are capable of. 